Hello and welcome to Be The Magician. My name is Brandon and if you're new to the channel, welcome. So today's video is going to be a little bit different. Yes, I'm going to teach you a self-working card trick, which is very easy to do and anybody can do it. Also, we're going to be reviewing, or not reviewing, but we're going to be taking a look at these playing cards. You're probably thinking, Brandon, what are these? You probably can see actually what they are. These are the PlayStation playing cards. I picked them up today. I've been dying to open them to see what they feel like. And if they are any good, I'm going to do the trick today using these. So let me bring the camera closer so you can take a look and unbox these together. Okay, so like you can see, the camera is a lot closer. Uh, so you can see everything I can see. So yes, this is the box. The packaging as well is pretty cool. And just to let you all know, if you don't know this, I am a gamer. I love the PlayStation, Xbox, PCs. And as soon as I saw these, I thought, you know what? I need to buy them. I need to open them, but I'll wait for you guys. So hopefully they're going to be pretty, pretty good. So yes, uh, it's just in a blue box. And uh, let's open it up. If I can open it up, I've just ripped it, but never mind. So yes, this is a box. And the cards are in a metal tin. And you can see, obviously, you've got the square, a circle, the cross, and the triangle. You could probably do some kind of ESP or mind reading trick with this. Possibly. Something to think about. And you've got the PlayStation logo. So let's open the cards up. If I can open them up. There we go. Ooh, we're very close. So let's put all these to one side. They are white cards. Well, just to let you know, there's some kind of paper on here to keep the cards together. And the back of the cards, I'll show you in this way. Hopefully you can see these. You've got, obviously, the exact same as the tin, but in blue instead. So let's uh, do a spread. Should we do a spread test? Oh, God. Well, that's not <laughs> a very good spread, is it? That is not very good at all. I've been dying to open these cards. Uh, I can't even... I can't even spring them. These are terrible. So, these uh, are from Tesco as well, by the way. These are from Tesco. And they feel shock. I can't even, that's me spreading the cards. Let me do a comparison for you guys. So, these are bicycles, which are £2.50 in England. So, probably about $4, $5 in America. You spread the cards. You spread these, which were £4. <laughs> oh, what a bad buy. So, the jokers do look pretty cool. I'll give you that, the jokers do look cool. It's like, it's like they've got roughing powder or something on here. Um, the Ace of Spades, I'm spreading the Ace of Spades and it's taking two cards off. So I'm taking like a triple lift. It's been easy to do a, a triple lift. <laughs> uh, yeah, so the cards are terrible. The King of Spades has got a uh, PlayStation uh, symbol on there. I can't even spread it. Let's try and do a riffle shuffle. All right, here we go. Oh, we did it, we did a, we did a, uh, let's try to a table before shuffle. Oh my God. Yeah, these cards are absolutely terrible. I've been dying to uh, play with these cards all day, but it's just, they terrible. I can't even, sp comparison spread. If you, hopefully you can see it on the camera, it's very clumpy. There's like three or four, or there's about 12 cards there. You take a £2.50 bicycle pack. Ta-da. So, if you have looked at these in the shop and you've seen the Tesco, uh, sorry, Tesco, the PlayStation cards or the Xbox cards, because it was Xbox as well, don't buy them. I can't even spring the cards. They're a terrible buy. So, let's get on with the trick. So, let me show you what this trick looks like. Uh, like I did say, these tricks I'm doing all this week, I did it yesterday, it's all going to be self-working car tricks. Everything works on its own, so there's hardly no sleight of hand whatsoever. So, here it is. Uh, so, you borrow a pack of cards, and the cards are shuffled, and the spectator will be doing this. And as well... For this trick, it's going to be so hard to perform it because I've got nobody here, just myself. So, let's say the cards are mixed up by the spectator. You tell them to cut them anywhere they'd like and to choose a packet. So, 
So let's say they choose this packet and you tell them to shuffle them and we take these cards as well and these can get shuffled as well. And the cards are truly are mixed up. So now uh, you ask your spectator, well, you're gonna show your spectator what you want them to do. So you can tell them to take the cards, not just yet, but you can tell them to put them behind your back and you're gonna take out any card. So let's take out this one. Yeah, I'll take this one. So you can take out any card, it doesn't matter what card it is, and you're gonna place it out. So they would, I didn't even look at it, here we go. Uh, now they're gonna do the same, so the cards will go behind their back, they can take one card out, and they're going to look at it. Okay? So they won't be seeing that, they will just do, it's, it makes it random. Okay, so you think I'm forced in, they're choosing their own card, I'm choosing my own card. So now what's going to happen is I'm going to place their card inside the center, which I have no idea what that is. What's my card? Yep. And my card is going to go in the middle like so. Okay. So now to make it even more crazy, we're going to actually turn one half face up and one half face down. And we're going to give those a riffle shuffle like so. Do that again because that was terrible. So the cards are really are getting mixed up face up into face down. So I pick the card, they pick the card, and all the cards are face up and face down, face up and face down. So now you'd ask the spectator to name their card, which I have no idea. I will name mine, which is the two of diamonds. We both snap, both press onto the cards. And now when you spread, there's only two cards which are face up, the two of diamonds, and the six of diamonds. And that is it, it's simple as that. You can't get any simpler than that. It's very, very easy to do, self-working. And yes, you guys are gonna learn exactly how to do it. Okay, so this is the tutorial of this trick. Like I said, it's super easy to do. There's no slight, you don't even need a full deck of cards. So, to begin the trick, you tell the spectator to mix the cards up, which they will. And just a little disclaimer, you do need to know how to do the riffle shuffle. So if you don't know how to do that, please let me know and I can do a tutorial on that for you. So, let's say the cards are fully mixed up. You ask your spectator to cut the cards anywhere they'd like and to choose a packet. They can shuffle both packets, it doesn't really matter. But let's say they shuffle this packet what you, all you need to know is what the second to the bottom card is. That is it. So even if you mix the cards up, I just bent a card, so we'll get rid of that. Um, so let's say you shuffle the cards up and while they're shuffling, all you've got to do is that. That is all you need to do. So you know what the second, second to the face of the card is. So let's say for this example, it's a four of hearts, my favorite card. So we use the four of hearts. So while they're shuffling, and you finish shuffling, you've done this, you've looked at your card, the four of hearts, for example, the cards go face down, and all this happens so fast. So yes, please shuffle your card, okay, and I'll shuffle mine. If you finish shuffling, brilliant. It's done, and they're not concentrating on what you're doing because they're shuffling. So if you didn't see that, it was the eight of diamonds. So what's gonna happen now is you're gonna tell the spectator, I didn't do this in the performance card, nobody here to put the cards behind their back, and you're gonna put the cards behind your back, and you're gonna remove one card and bring it out face down. That's all you're telling them to do. But as soon as your cards go behind your back, straight away, you're turning the cards over, you're going to reverse the top two cards, turning them over, and peeling the top card off. That is all you're doing. I'll do that again, because <laughs> you're probably thinking, what? I don't understand. Do it again. So they shuffle them. You've looked at your bottom card, the four of clubs. You tell them, obviously, uh, when the cards go behind your back, to take one card out. When the cards do go behind your back, straight away, you're turning the cards over. You're reversing the top two cards, turning these both over, and then peeling the top card off. Okay? One more time, so, we'll, so for example, our card is four of hearts, my favorite card. Uh, shuffle the cards, they're gonna shuffle them. You've got your, uh, your 
you've got your card or your glimpse of the four of hearts. They're shuffling. I want you to put the cards behind your back and take out one card so you don't even know where you're going to pick the card from. I'll do the same. So as soon as the cards go behind my back, I'm turning them over, reversing the top two cards, turning these over, taking the top card. So this is the four of clubs, okay? But I'm going to call it the four of hearts, which is here. So whatever your second card is, if you've done this correctly, your second card will be on top. Your glimpse card, knowing you peek the card. So whatever card you peek should be here, not there. So now, they would have done the same. Let's say they choose the five of diamonds. You And as well, the setup now is you reversed all the cards. Okay? And they're all face down, they're all face up. And if you missed that, I don't think you would have missed that. But if you did, I'll do that one more time. If the cards come over. Oh, sorry. You've got your glimpse of four of hearts. When the cards go behind your back, you reverse in the cards. And then these already face up. Because obviously, when the cards go behind your back, you're turning them over. These go over. And you're dropping it on. So you reverse the cards. But to them, it's like a mirror image. It all looks the same. So now you say, look, uh, please remember your card. They will look at their card. And their card, the Five of Diamonds, goes in the middle of your packet, which is face up. So that you can't as well just cut the cards because they'll see they're all face up. So what you're going to do is you can either place it in the back or you can push it in. But if you push it in wrong, it can do this. Let me see if I can do it on purpose. You can do that, which you don't want to happen. So if you do that, if you place your pink at the back and put a bit of pressure on, it won't, it won't push cards out. So their card goes in, your card goes in, which is not this card, it's the four of hearts, it's the card you peaked. That deck can go in anywhere in their packet. Now, what we're going to do is, obviously don't do that, is a riffle shuffle, a table riffle shuffle. So you're gonna turn their packet over, so you obviously you can't turn yours over, you're going to turn their packet over. You can spread the card to show in the face up. And you're going to do a table riffle shuffle. You don't want to do a shuffle like this, where your card for hearts or whatever card is, is at top. That needs to be in the middle. Okay? So all I do for that is I riffle off. But basically, I just aim for the center. Even though I've got quite a few cards on top, I'm not bothered. If you can see that, there's all these cards going on top. It really doesn't matter. So one more time, you're gonna shuffle the card. You don't want to do this either, like a big one so people can see these cards because that has to be hidden. So it's gotta be tight. Because if you're doing this, they're gonna see that face up is going to face up. So when you do the riffle shuffle, make sure it's very, very close in and tight. So they go in like so. I usually do this little convincer, like I, I nudge it in at an angle so they can still see face up and face down. You ask them, uh, you obviously go through what you've done. You put the card behind your back, I put it behind my back. You chose one card, I chose one card. You put your card in my packet, I put my card in your packet. Then we mix the card face up and face down. Yes. Uh, you tell them, uh, name your card. I forgot what card it was, I think it was the Five of Diamonds. And mine was the Four of Hearts. You snap and all the cards straighten up. That's the Four of Hearts and the five of diamonds. So I'm gonna walk through that one more time very, very quickly because I've gone on long enough for this, but if you don't understand it, that, this is why I do it. I go over and over and over. I think I go over too much. So really quickly, cards are mixed up. Cut the cards, please mix the cards up. They're mixing the cards up. Your glimpse been the bottom card, which is a joker. Oh, sorry, the second to the bottom card, which is a joker. They're mixing the cards up. Okay, Billy, I want you to put the cards uh, behind your back. I want you to spread through them and take one card out. And I'm going to do the same. The cards go behind my back. I turn them over. I'm going to spread. I'm going to uh, swap the top two bottom cards like so. They go face down and I take the top card out. Hopefully you understand that. They'll do the same. Okay, uh, their card is going to go in my packet. Don't forget you can't just cut. So they chose the nine of diamonds. Your card is a joker. And then we're going to do the riffle shuffle, like so. 
Don't forget you can't do this. Make sure it's nice and tight, like so. Then go through everything, what's just happened. You give it a snack, give it away, give it a, do whatever you want to do. And then when you spread the Joker and the Nana Diamonds, is there, their card. So I've gone on way too long about this tutorial. Hopefully uh, you understand it. If you don't, let me know in the comment section. But that is the tutorial of this trick. Okay, so that is the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed this trick. Yes, it is a easy trick. It's just that remembering that bottom part where you have to take, reverse the top two cards and then th that part is probably only the trickiest part, but it is self-working. Uh, do you know, I, I don't think this is amazing. I don't think it's the best trick out there. There's a lot better tricks, but it's the self-working week of magic. So all the way from, I you know, it's only Sunday today, but from Sunday to next Sunday, it's all going to be self-workers. And then the following week after that, we're going to look into uh, some advanced stuff. Like I could teach you something like this, if I can get it on camera where the card jumps out the pack, which looks pretty good. It does look really, really good. You get some really good spin on it. So I can teach you how to do that, how to put that into a routine. So yeah, I've got loads more videos coming up. Thank you for all your comments on the last video as well. It's much appreciated. I love seeing all your amazing comments. They do mean a lot to me. And I do try my best to reply to absolutely everybody. So if I have missed a comment, don't worry, I will comment back. But thank you for all your support, all your love. It Honestly, it means so, so much to me. But anyway, I'm going to stop rambling on. I'm going to let you learn this trick. Let me know how you get on with it. If you're struggling, if the tutorial wasn't any good, let me know and I'll do another one. Anyway, hit the like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.